a toy in the graveyard, toys in a coffin, and dolls in an attic. In this video, we'll be looking at the 10 creepiest toys found in mysterious places. Number 10. Eerie Eric Someone found this puppet in their attic and decided to take a picture. They posted on the internet a few days or maybe weeks later. I wonder what happened to that person afterward. This spooky puppet's name is Eric, and he does not belong in the attic. No, no, no. He doesn't belong in the trash either. Eric belongs in a mental home, or worse, the house of evil. And yes, it is eerie. Eerie Eric has a mind of its own and would crawl out of wherever you take it to and watch everyone in their sleep. Forget all the stories you've heard or read about clowns. Eric has a seriously sinister look to him, especially in the eyes. Number 9. Faceless Betty A doll with an ugly face is scary enough, but what about one that has no face at all? A redditor saw this total eyesore in their attic and posted the image on reddit to convey their anxiety. Was this doll destroyed by a dog and then just randomly stuffed in the attic to be found years later? Or did something living in the attic gnaw on it up there? Maybe an attic monster that chews on the flesh of dolls had its way with Betty. The doll's hands, feet, and knees have been destroyed, yet its large t-shirt happens to be in excellent condition. How does that even happen? Ah, never mind, I'm too scared to be interested in this. Number 8. The Ancient One How old was your oldest toy? 10, 20, maybe 30 years old? 30 is pretty old for a toy. How about a 100 year old toy? Is that ancient enough? Probably. But would it top this one? In December 2017, a fisherman pulled up a 4,500 year old children's toy from a river, and they were terrifying, but also incredible. One of the toys was a figure of a pagan god that historians think was used as a rattle to ward off evil spirits. That's great and everything, but it looks pretty terrifying in itself. You can also see images of the back of it. It looks like it has long hair and fish scales. Fisherman Nikolai Tarasov was hailed for making the catch of a lifetime, as the figure was one of the oldest children's toys ever found to date. If you think these were creepy, things are about to get creepier. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Bobo's Dirty Head Look at this dirty baby head with its piercing blue eyes. This head was found in the ceiling of a property in New York, now home to the Tenement Museum. Let me tell you a quick story about this place. 97 Orchard Street in southern Manhattan used to be a family home, so it makes sense if there are relics from the old residence hidden in the mysterious places around the house. I imagine a girl named Sophia Marvin lived in this house about 20 years ago. One Christmas, she got a cute little doll and played with it all day. She named it Bobo. It was the same period that the Marvins disappeared. They didn't move because all of their things were still there. It's 20 years and the family's disappearance is still a mystery. Well, we all know this toy Bobo had something to do with it, but how did Bobo get to the ceiling though? Number 6. A Disfigured Macy A Redditor Dem posted an image of a poorly treated toy mouse, and the mouse only had one eye. Who would do such a thing to Macy the mouse? The Redditor wrote this about the scary looking one-eyed disfigured mouse toy. Scary toy I found looking in my window. People look out their windows to witness the sunset, see flowers, and check if their neighbors are throwing a backyard party. It's terrible if you look and find a mutilated Macy. The comments were also scary. One person wrote, I'm the one who knocks. Another person wrote, if that toy was a personal toy to you or your kids, voodoo. Macy was knocked off with voodoo? Oh goodness. Number 5. Kimmy the Monkey Redditor Mostly Grapes posted this image with the caption, So I found this monkey in the attic. And then what, Redditor? You can't just start a good story and end it with ellipses. The monkey right there is Kimmy. Do you know what terrifies me the most about Kimmy? It's his teeth. The Redditor wrote, At first I moved it into the living room right next to the bedroom, but when you're alone on an old farm in the middle of nowhere, that does not really work out. So I put it in a box and stored it in the barn instead. I wonder if Kimmy was ever considered cute or if all the children found it extremely scary looking. It's even uglier and scarier now that it's been uncovered years later. Number 4. Mrs. Elaine's Class I found this on a YouTube channel with just over 430,000 subscribers. The channel's name is Bros of Decay and is run by two Flemish brothers, Leslie and Jordy, who adore urban adventures. Five years ago, they adventured into an old abandoned elementary school and found old books and old toys. In the video description, they wrote, All the kids' toys were still inside the building, along with all the pictures of the students. Here's what I think happened here. 
Mrs. Elaine's class was one of the loveliest classes in school. One day she had an idea. She told the kids they were having toy day and that they should bring their favorite toys to school. They didn't know that one of the girls in the class, Beatrix, brought the voodoo dolls her mom got from who knows where. What was supposed to be a fun toy day in school became a horror story. No one really knows what happened that day, but I heard that the dolls snatched and imprisoned Mrs. Elaine's soul in them. Starting now, things get even creepier. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. The Seven Sisters Old dolls are at the top of the list of just plain, eerie items. I'm certain they weren't spooky when they were still brand new, sitting beneath the Christmas tree or boxed up for a birthday gift. These dolls were listed on a Warwick County, Indiana buy-sell-trade Facebook group. Here's what the seller had to say about the dolls she found in her friend's attic. These dolls were found in a box in the attic of my friend's house. She bought the house a year ago, and she always thought she heard a crying noise from the attic. She found a box of dolls and was so freaked out that she would not touch them. They were old and eerie, and if you're brave enough to own a haunted doll, this post is for you. Each doll costs $10, but if you buy several, I'll lower the price. I've seen Chucky and Annabelle, and I'm not sure I would ever be in the market for any of these dolls, but you might. These dolls are the most horrific dolls I've ever seen and are not from a popular horror movie. Number 2 Spell of the Seventeen We're in Edinburgh at a place called Arthur's Seat. It's June 1836 and some young teenage boys set out to hunt rabbits. But they found something else instead. They found 17 small wooden coffins arranged in rows. When they opened them up, they found 17 dressed wooden dolls with open eyes staring back at them. From the investigation, it seemed that the coffins had been placed at different intervals in time over the past few years. The media started calling them fairy coffins, and rumors as to their purpose went wild. Some say they were the memorials for bumped off casualties, but the most popular rumor was witchcraft. My friends and I call it the spell of the 17. The Scotsman newspaper wrote an article on the discovery saying, our own opinion would be, had we not some years ago abjured witchcraft and demonology, there are still some of the weird sisters hovering about Mushit's Cairn or the Windy Gowl, who retain their ancient power to work the spells of eternal rest by entombing the likenesses of those they wish to destroy. Number 1. Herbert's Tomb In Hope Valley Cemetery in Adelaide, Australia, there is a headstone marking the final resting place of Herbert Henry Dicker, who passed away at age 2 in June 1885. Despite passing away over 137 years ago, regular teddy bears and toy trucks are left on his grave and have been found there once a month for eight years. Scarily, historians claim that Herbert has no living relatives in the area. David Brooks of the Tree Fully Library said, How the toys are getting there, I have no idea. Maybe Herbert wakes up at night, breaks the bonds of his grave, and goes to the nearest toy store to buy toys for himself. While Brooks seemed like he was joking, you have to wonder who's leaving these toys. How do they do so without being noticed, and what is their motive? Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.